Welcome back to the weekly vlog. It's Monday and I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm vlogging after a week of not vlogging and um, it feels good. I basically just took that week like off not to vlog mainly because I genuinely wasn't really doing anything and I just wanted a week where I didn't have to worry about taking the camera everywhere with me. Um, so it was just like a nice week off. I was doing my assignments and just getting things ready, things like that, like nothing too intense. I was just sitting at home. Um, it also snowed a lot uh, over this weekend. I think it was yesterday, Sunday, where it snowed like crazy and now there's snow outside. Um, so we're officially in winter, which is great. Uh -huh. So in my last vlog, if you guys remember, I was actually getting like my police check and my TB test and all of those administrative tasks done because I actually got a supply position at a school that I really wanted to work at. So um, I'm really happy about that. And so I'm actually now on their supply list. I'm gonna be going in and just applying. Today I have to go in and just do some more administrative things, just forms and stuff to fill out. But um, Moving forward, I guess there will be some days where I won't be vlogging just because I'm just physically at work. So um, yeah, I have to head out over there. Um, it's just like a two hour meeting, so I have to go do that. And then tomorrow I'm actually there shadowing another teacher that's a homeroom teacher just to get the gist of how the class works, et cetera, et cetera, students and all that. Um, so I'm doing that today and tomorrow. So tomorrow might be an empty vlog as well. Um, I did end up going to HomeSense last week. Uh, I think it was Saturday. Yeah, so I went to HomeSense on Saturday and I went to this new HomeSense that was, I haven't been to before and it was, so big like it was genuinely one of the biggest home senses I've ever seen or stepped foot in and they had such amazing things like I remember talking in my last vlog how all maybe all home senses just don't have stock right now but I went in the morning I went right at 10 a.m. when they opened and the stock was incredible I literally got so many things from my house and I'm so so happy so I will definitely do a haul on that um, and I'll upload it um, I'm assuming the Thursday that uh, is after this Monday so look out for a home sense haul the following Thursday because I got some really cute things and I can't wait to share them with you guys because I feel like it kind of completes the sense that I had um, and yeah I actually um, and oh <laughs> I should have just vlogged last week I have to fill you guys in on so much um, I also uh, took Mina and Muji to the vet so initially I said that um, they had to get their they had a vet appointment and initially in the clip that I will show you I said that they were not getting vaccinated but they actually did get vaccinated that day so I'm gonna go head out to my appointment and I will uh, insert the clip of Mina and Muji going to the vet now Hey, hi, happy Thursday. Um, I'm not really vlogging this week, but uh, we're taking Mina and Muji to the vet today. Um, and I thought it would be a good thing to vlog because, you know, cat stuff, so why not? Not knowing anything about what's about to happen. They're not getting their shots or anything. Um, it's just like a checkup because they haven't gotten checked in over a year now. They got their shots last year and that was before they turned one. So we need to get them to go for their um, one year appointment. And so that's what we're doing. Muji, hi, hello. She's a funny cat. Um, we also got them another carrier. They have one like this already, um, but that was when we initially adopted them and now they're like way too big to fit together in one. So we had to go get another one and I hope they are okay with it. I know Mina will be okay with it because she's like usually okay with anything. Nothing really phases her, but Muji is the more vocal cat and I think she might not be okay with it. So we'll see how it goes. Well, Muji's already inside. I don't think she understands. She's going to the vet. It's so funny. She's like, take me away. <laughs> she thinks it's like a toy or like a house or something. And Mina's trying to get in there too. Maybe they smell the Humane Society in this because we did pick them up you think the smell in this the carrier. Society, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe they what smell something. <laughs> it's been one year. Yeah, but they haven't smelled this in one year because we haven't taken them out. That's All right, Mina, time to get in the carrier. Mina, come on. Stop smelling Muji's carrier. Come in your own. Uh, all right, never mind. Muji wants to go in this one. Okay, go ahead, Muji. Should I close her in? Yeah, why not? All right, Muji. Being closed in. She doesn't even know it. She's like, what just happened? All right, Mina, get inside. God, Mina's tail is so big. Okay, stop. 
All right. Time to take them away. It's so funny. I don't even know what in there. Oh, look at her. And then there's, where's Miss Mina? Oh, she's just smelling. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, we made them face each other so they have some type of comfort. Don't seatbelt them, love. Oh, yeah, Aww. She's like, what's happening? What happened, Muji? Muji's been meowing weirdly. Mina's just chilling, as I Remember they, suspected. Remember they meowed last time, too? Yeah, but that's when they, we brought them home. No, 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 even when we took them to the vet, I think they meowed. Really? Mina's so happy. She's just like trying to put her head through it as if she thinks she can get out of it. Yeah. You okay? She's like, no, mom, I'm not okay. You're not okay? Okay, hello, happy Wednesday. Um, I thought I'd jump on the vlog and start vlogging for today, even though it is much, not much, but like it's not the morning anymore. It's three, what is it? 322, 321, yeah, 321, 322. So it's like past the afternoon. Um, I actually have a Zoom meeting with um, the brand OPI today. This PR company based in Toronto reached out to me, wondering if I was interested in joining in on an OPI uh, brand zoom session and I was like yes 100% obviously I'm interested um, but they basically had a package that they had to send out and they contacted me yesterday I mean the zoom session is today so I'm assuming that's why I haven't gotten the package yet but that's okay um, I'll just join the session anyways um, it's basically OPI's collection with Swarovski crystals and so they have like shimmery nail polishes that they were sending out and I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna be receiving I saw it on insta unless they send me a completely different package but I don't think so anyways I have that meeting from 7 36 let me double check when is that meeting uh, yes so I have that at 6 p.m. today which will be really fun I haven't ever um, taken part in something like this so I'm really excited to see what it's gonna be like especially over zoom uh, but yeah, that's gonna be the evening for today. I am super hungry right now. I don't have any food in the fridge um, just because we didn't cook yesterday. We just ordered Osmos because we, um, because, because, <laughs> I went to work yesterday and then after I came back, I actually had a dentist appointment to go to again uh, Just getting stuff done in my mouth and so when I came back from that It was around 6 30 p.m. And I like my mouth was frozen and I just wasn't in the mood to cook and neither was Faison So we ended up ordering Osmos and that's what we ate, but now there's no food for today So I'm really hungry right now. And there's no food. I was thinking of making some quinoa um, I saw this like Chinese style quinoa online um, and I have a bunch of vegetables that I actually need to use up before they go bad so I think that's what I'm gonna be doing right now and um, that is it I don't really have anything else um, and yeah all right I got her she's getting big we when we went to the vet um, they weighed her in at 11 pounds can you is your tongue sticking out is your tongue sticking out <laughs> she's like please let me go okay go ahead go go 
Um, yeah, so when we took her to the vet, she was actually weighed in at 11 pounds and Mina is 7 pounds for like the comparison. Mina's just really fluffy, so like she looks a little bigger, but I know when we hold her, she is so light compared to Muji and Muji literally has a belly now. Like it's pretty bad. If she sits down, she's very like bottom heavy. She literally looks like a pear. It's really funny. Um, but let me see what Mina is doing. Mina has been obsessed with... Uh, just uh, destroying our tree. She loves it to the point where we had to move all of our ornaments at the bottom to the top. So what she was doing was that she would take the ornaments off and she would carry them upstairs and make a little pile for herself. And I'm not kidding when I say this, every, every time I woke up, I woke up to three ornaments at the side of like our bedroom. And she just loved doing it. They're in the tree right now, just wrecking it because you know, cats don't like Christmas trees, but let me show you. What are you doing? Look at her sitting there all innocently. She's not innocent. Also, oh my god, they took the plug, like, it was stuck in the tree and they took it out. Mina! So this is what I mean. Like, it's such a sad tree now. Oh my god, it's like completely naked at the bottom. You can't tell when the lights are on. It kind of is okay when the lights are on, but when the lights are off, it looks like this entire section of ornaments is missing because of Mina. Can you come out? Come on. Yeah, when you like plug it in, it doesn't look too bad, but without the lights, it looks pretty empty. She's still in there. She's just enjoying her stuff right now. Alright, I'm gonna leave you in there, Mina, but as soon as you start doing something, we're gonna have to move you. I caught you. Also, something that I got from HomeSense that day, which I guess I'll show you guys because I'm honestly not going to include it in the haul because it's not really a home purchase, is this large container for their food. And it has made our lives so much easier. So because we have two of them, we um, buy the large food bag. And it used to be stored in our coat closet, just the bag. But then we purchased this and literally, I love it. It fits in the cabinet so well and their food is stored in there so nicely. Um, but yeah, this is my most... Recently loved purchase. There's Muji inspecting it because she thinks she's getting food right now. You little fatty. All right, the quinoa is all done. I tasted it, it tastes fine. Um, much better than my last one because this actually tastes like food and not a weird salad. Um, also, my last one like was completely out of flavor the next day, so I'm hoping this one keeps its flavor, but yes, it is done. Um, and I'm just gonna eat this now. All right, time to enjoy my very lovely quinoa, which I hope will be good. Um, and I'm also gonna decide what to watch because I don't know yet. But I'm gonna go eat this. Kaizan got his graphics card in the mail today, or not mail, he went to go pick it up and he's super excited. He's right there doing all of his computer thingies. I need a screwdriver. And now he needs a screwdriver. Alright, this is the new big boy Faison is going to be putting into his CPU, is that what it's called? My computer. It's That's not the CPU. Oh, okay. Underneath that is got the it. CPU. <laughs> Here it is. The more you know. Which one is this? It's the GeForce RTX 3080. Yeah, so if anyone of you know about <laughs> computers. <laughs> mm.
Wow. Look at that. That is a big chunk. It is, right? It's pretty big. That's it with wise. We love it. Oh, and then I'll show you the... Ooh. The uh, back plate. What is it? The back plate. Ah. Look at it, look at it, look at the size. Yes. That's All right, the difference. here's the size comparison. That was his graphics card before. Now here it is. Okay. She wasn't <laughs> supposed to do that. Sorry. All right, happy Thursday. It might not look like Thursday because I'm in the exact same clothes as yesterday, but uh, this hoodie is very, very comfy and I have no plans of taking it off. I'll, I'll take it off maybe tomorrow or whatever, but it's a very comfy hoodie. It's Faison's hoodie and it's like, it's so nice and oversized and I don't have a hoodie like this. So I, and it's really warm and I get cold really often. Anyways, aside from my hoodie um, updates, I realized that I didn't get to share all of the shades that I got yesterday that um, OPI sent. So I thought that I could show you guys all of the shades one by one. Unfortunately, all of these shades, I don't know if I said it before, but they're all shimmery and it makes sense because it's for their holiday collection. Um, I don't wear shimmery shades. I'm a very matte nude kind of girl. So um, I did ask my friends and my family if they wanted some. So I'm going to take it over the weekend and just see if my mom wants some or like if my cousins want some and then I'll distribute the rest of them to my friends because I honestly only see myself wearing like maybe two or three shades out of this. So I'll see which ones I can give away because I have no, I, I like genuinely don't know what I'm going to do with all this nail polish, but let me show you. All right. So here they are. Also, Muji has been obsessed with this box because there is a cookie in it and she really wanted the cookie. So I think she still smells it, but let me lay these all out and then I'll tell you guys what they are. Okay, um, I thought this would be the best way to do it uh, because I can't really show you guys all the colors if they're lying down. Would you stop eating this, please? All right, so this color right over here is called This Gold Slays Me, right? Yes, This Gold Slays Me. This purpley color is called Let's Take an Elfie, I believe. Uh, yep, Let's Take an Elfie. I'll like put the names in like with text so you guys can see so you don't have to just do it off of memorization. This shimmery pink shade right over here is called um, Snow Falling For You. Snow Falling For You. This one right over here is uh, this like blue shade and it has like flakies in it. It's called Bling It On. This magenta shade which I'm or like this nude shade which I really do like is called Gingerbread Man Can and it's it's a really nice shade. It's like earthy tones and whatnot and I do really like it so I might keep this one. This one is also very beautiful but I don't wear uh, black nail polish. I might try it out um, but it's called Heart and Coal and it has like a rainbow flex inside of it. I don't know if you guys can tell but it's really pretty. This one 100% I'm keeping. This is ready for the holidays. I don't have a red shade and I do sometimes wear red so I'm gonna be keeping this. This um, again a really beautiful shade. Uh, it's like a darker, I want to say navy. It's almost like a darker blue. It doesn't have, it doesn't look completely black. It's like a darker blue slash green and it's called putting on the glitz. Put in, put in on the glitz. Putting on the glitz. This right over here is uh, Dressed to the Wines. Oh, that's really funny because it's Dressed to the Nines. This is Dressed to the Wines. And again, it's like um, a purpley, it's like um, a purpley color, very pretty. This one, super cute as well. In the camera, it looks um, white, but it's not white. It's like a pink shimmery shade and it's called Naughty or Ice. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not white at all. It's actually like pink and shimmery. Um, Muji, can you move? I'm trying to do a little nail polish video. Okay, uh, this one right over here is uh, called To All A Good Night. And again, it's another blue-green shimmery shade. This one, we're almost done. We have like three nail polishes left. This one is called Mary in Cranberry and um, it's like a purplish, magenta-ish color with um, flakies in it. Or not flakies, but like shimmeries. This one, again, is also a really nice color. Um, if this was matte, like if any one of these were matte, I would completely keep it. But the fact that they have shine in them, kind of eh, but it's okay. Um, this is called, this shade is ornamental and it's a very beautiful pink shade. It's really pretty. All right, this one is called All a Twitter in Glitter and um, it is literally just flakies. It's a clear, uh, I guess, um, crystal coat. Very pretty. The last one is called um, Tinsel Tinsel Little Star um, and it's like a gray shimmery nail polish so I might keep this one. I really wanted to paint my nails so I'm going to decide which 
shade to choose from. I don't know which one I'm going to choose, but I really wanted to do the red. But I really did want to try out a shimmery shade. I don't know. All right. I'll 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 check back in. Also, I have like um these are just like the uh gloss shades that I didn't show, but they're just the base coats almost. So yeah, I'm going to decide which color to paint my nails and I think I'm gravitating towards this one, this one, this one, or that one, or this one. So maybe I'll paint one color per nail. I don't know. Okay. All right, I know I said I wasn't a fan of the shimmeries, but they look so beautiful, especially this one. I think I'm gonna paint my nails this one, which is um, this one right over here. It looks darker in the bottle, but like obviously it's lighter on the on the paper. I just didn't want to do it on my nails. Um, it's called Tinsel Tinsel Little Star, and it is so pretty. I'm definitely gonna paint my nails this color right now. And the black one is so pretty. Maybe maybe I do like shimmery things. Who knew? But yeah, I'm gonna paint my nails now. Most likely this one. With maybe a top coat of that one. Who knows? All right, it's dinner time and for dinner, literally I stuck to something so plain and simple because we have quinoa in the fridge as well. Um, we just made the chicken nuggets, but then with the chicken nuggets, I made the roasted tomato and feta dip. We didn't have cherry tomatoes, so we just made the feta dip instead and it tastes really good as well, just without the tomatoes. And then, and then we have this, which is apple crumble and it is literally the best dessert out there. I made this the week I didn't vlog and I absolutely got obsessed with it. Then I had apples that I needed to repurpose and so I use them in this and it's so so good I'm gonna link the recipe down below but so yummy I would say like if you have um, the red apples to go a little bit less on the sugar that she in indicates in it because it does become a little bit too sweet which is what I found in the first place but I'm so excited to eat this I love apple crumble look at that yum and then there's a soft gooey apple right over there love it time to eat <laughs> 